Hey there, YouTube followers, Michael with Painting War Games, and today is the review for the new Citadel brush line. And um, I'm going to talk about the ones I got. So, I got the medium and small dry brush. Uh, this is a small dry brush. Very nice. Medium dry brush. So, um, I thought the medium was going to be actually the size of the old medium, but the small is the size of the old medium. Um, either way, I haven't used the medium one, which is this one, but I do have to say from using the small one, I'm really liking it. I really like it. Um, it gives a nice, consistent uh, dry brush on it. Um, I don't know what these pairs, the bristles are, or the, uh, the brush is actually, like the hair is, but I do like these more. Um, the medium is actually too big for the little areas I want to do. Um, it's just, like, this is going to be coming in handy for tanks and, like, vindicators and stuff like that. So, I gotta say, um, the dry brush one's definitely a good buy. Um, and then I have the small in, um, I have the, well, yeah, I have the medium base, which is this. Medium base, nice, nice brush. Um, I can't say how much I like this. This is a good multi-facet uh, like basing brush. Um, the only thing I might say is that it is a little small, in my opinion, to be considered medium. Um, but you know, more power to them. Um, I'm probably going to go out and get the small and large ones of these in due time, um, just because I like this so much. And now we're getting on to the layer brushes, and I actually have them in here. Uh, because I'm trying to keep them well protected. Um, I bought the small and medium ones. Or the small and medium one. I gotta say, I like these a lot. I These are top quality brushes, guys. I can't recommend this new line enough. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, the medium layer is a little small as far as thickness goes. Um, compared to my old... Compared to this brush that I use on a regular basis. Um, I don't even know where I get I get these brushes from Hobby Town or Hobby Lobby and this is a three on the Master Touch. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like them. Um, I just sort of wish the medium layer was a little bit bigger, a little bit sadder of a brush as far as hairs go. It holds, it shapes, it does everything well. The small one I haven't used. I've looked at it. Um, you know, and I put my fingers through the brushes, and it's the same quality. It's just I haven't had um, super sun, super small like detailing I need to do. Um, the small is going to be comparable to this um, Master Touch 10 aught as far as like tip goes, and I only use my 10 aught, uh, or yeah, it's 10 aught or double zero for eyes on my Space Marines, so. Um, I'd imagine once I get into smaller figures, like in the fantasy range, uh, the small layer will do really well. Um, so, and I have another product review, and I don't actually have the product with me, I just have the end result here. And to be honest, I am disappointed with this. Um, so as you guys know, I bought another Tactical Squad, and then I got the spray can Mephiston Red. And this is what Mephiston Red turned out to look like after it dries. Probably not gonna see it. This is an orange color. This is in Mephiston Red. Mephiston Red was red that dried dark. It was like a it was like a dark red. Um This is a rust orange in my opinion. And this model is clumpy. Like, sure the legs look really good, like I'm staring at it now. The legs got primed pretty good. But then like in the detail with the with the wings, and then like in the stomach. Anything that had any excessive detail, this thing just failed. This primer just failed horribly. Like it clumped up, it got goop, it got bubbly in areas. Like there's a bunch of bubble marks in that. And I, I actually tried washing some of them because half of them broke as soon as I got them out of the priming area. And even with the red wash, it looks freaking orange. This is not the color that I once had. Um, 
Mephiston Red Base come with, is different than Mephiston Red Spray. So, you know, I took a gamble. The guy talked me into it. It's $18 out of my pocket that I'm never going to get back. And now I've got to figure out some way to salvage this tactical squad, which in my opinion looks crappy on its base coat. Even with the wash, it looks bad. Um, I mean, granted, I still have Evil Sun Scarlet to put on there, which is going to be my best attempt to get this thing back to looking great. Um, but the wings, um, like on the shoulder pads, any anything that has really fine detail is just, it's the paint's been clumped up. It's just, it's horrible looking. I don't like it. Um, I actually have been really considering throwing this whole squad into some sort of thinner, um, like, uh, oh, I forget. It's like the, uh, I forget what it's called. It's not green stuff, but it's like the green machine or something. There's some green, um, stuff that they use the it's all natural it's a green liquid that they use to clean uh, like sinks and stuff but it's really good as a solvent because uh, it won't damage your models but yet you soak it in there for two to two days to a week and it lifts up the paint and you can just brush it off with an old paintbrush and soap and water and you know you gotta do it a few times but you can get it off so I'm really tempted to do that with this tactical squad um, just because I have Almost all of the first one done, like I showed you guys. This one's done. And I'm really lo loving how these guys look. Um, they're pain in the butt. Like when I got to the bolt gun guys, I'm not lying. These things, it's the grind session once you get to the bolt gun guys. Because um, with the regular Tasman Squad, you have the heavy, with mine, I have the heavy flamer, I have the melted gun guy, and I have the sergeant with the power fist or the power sword and the plasma pistol so it's you know those guys are really because there's a lot of detail in them and those are special guys they gotta stand out these regular guys are just regular Joe Schmoes and bolt guns are, I'm just not really paying that great because I'm just giving them a, a bolt gun metal coat and a, a, a black wash and if there's any like a little blood drops I'm painting them purple and stuff so, yeah, I mean, there's detail in these guys. I, I'm going to love seeing a whole squad of these guys, an actual tactical marine squad that I painted, look like this on the field. Um, sort of makes me want to go hoard space marines um, and use and get like uh, four or five tactical squads. And just, you know, heavy flamers, melted guns, power swords, plasma pistols type stuff, just because I like the way they look, so... So, for my review of the new Citadel brush line, go ahead, get it. Um, I'd stay away from that $20 brush. I have heard weird stories about how people are buying it and the, br the brush is already coming frayed. And it's just go to like a Hobby Lobby or a local hobby store if you want that super fine brush and look for Master Touch brushes. Uh, I hear Whimsor and Newton brushes are really good. Um, get those on Amazon. So. Alright guys, this is Michael of Painting War Games. I'm signing out. And as always, keep gaming.